The work, uh, board meeting workshop, uh, October 23rd, 2018, will come to order. Oh, I didn't. I forgot to do the invocation. Y'all excuse me. Well, we'll just work over it. Okay, I don't believe there's anyone here other So, everybody's welcome to speak. All right, draft agenda review for regular meeting on November 1st, 2018. Are there any questions from the audience? No. All right, Mr. Davis, go for it. Mr. Chairman, good morning. Thank good you. Good morning. So the first, uh, you know, we talk about the recognition of awards. <coughs> we'll recognize Founder of Week's art contest winners through Mrs. Kelly Watt. C1 is the minutes for the school board workshop on the 25th, student hearings and regular meeting on October the 4th. C2 is the personnel consent agenda. There's nothing on this agenda from our side, like job descriptions or anything. C3 is approval of out of county travel for K-12 academics. This is where we have FFA, um, color, uh, color Guard, Drama, Key Club, uh, NJRTC going to events. Travel anywhere. That's good. C4 is a proclamation for uh, you know for proclaiming November as uh, Family Engagement Month. This is just show the importance of the roles of our families and our you know our in our parents to be actively you know involved in the educational process in, in their role within the community with us. C five is proposed allocation changes for eighteen nineteen. Uh, in this document, you see this document uh, has been uh, refined. And uh, this document and uh, you know identifies uh, salary and benefits, so you can see the breakdown of the total cost for for all. Uh, the first one is under general funds will be the position for the director of three moving tool one for operation safety and security. Federal funds is a Unisig grant for um, Charles E. Bennett. This is directly linked to them uh, in their efforts being under the umbrella of the state of Florida, uh, the Department of Education for being a school to to improve academically. So this money goes directly to them for classroom assistance, a behavior management teacher, along with additional math coach for services through their grant. Uh, the next is federal uh, federal funds, all with, with uh, food services. This is all paid out of uh, her pocket of money where she needs some additional hours uh, at uh, Orange Park High School, Orange Park Junior High School. And then you see that we're deleting um, you know, some positions and adding hours to them at Swim and Pin Creek as well due to the need. Let me say this. I, for one, um, and I want the board to give input, I really like having the salary benefits and the total cost out there. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Levesque. Yes. That's a good job. I think, I think that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, ma'am. C6 is the monthly financial report for September. C7 is deletion of, of, of certain item reports. This is about printers, golf carts, laptops, you know, milk boxes, tons of things that are no longer, LCD projectors that are no longer being able to, 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 to work effectively and efficiently within the organization. Uh, C8 is pre-qualifications for contractors, which is our monthly pre-quals. And this one, we want Dr. Kemp to. Yeah, he's uh, up. <laughs> Kemp, this is a good thing. It's a good one. Yeah, we're direct purchase. We're direct, direct purchase. Contract yeah. amount. He said, Dr. Kemp, he's saving $28,000. At least we're saving money. When I this first saw is, it, when I was reviewing the agenda, I thought, oh, he is going Listen, to it's, it's, <laughs> it's going to be on here for the next <laughs> two years. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know I laughed when I saw it. I thought, he's going to have the nerve to come to the meeting, but it wasn't saving. We're saving twenty eight grand. <laughs> Uh, D1 is um, uh, special actions. As of right now, we don't have any. Fingers crossed. And D2 is a public hearing for revisions to the board policy 412, which is all related to um, medication for students. I think this is the quickest ever. It's only 10 minutes after, 9 minutes after. <laughs> nine I should have just called. <laughs> you should have phoned in, Mary. Just <laughs> turned around, started off. Let's go have breakfast. <laughs> okay. Uh, comment? Anything else you like that? She drove back. We've from never Orlando done it for nine this minute quick. Yeah, it's of course, this is going to be a yes. month. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any more comments before I?
something. You've no, I will. Got a couple of things. Um, no, from our side, um, we have lots going on. We plan to launch the community connection hopefully in the next couple of days, uh, which I did. Uh, you know, it will be a monthly you know, avenue to communicate better with our stakeholders and our parents. That we'll put out a, a video analysis or in a podcast to uh, talk about pressing issues within our school district to have better connections. And um, other than that, we're we're just moving on every single day. Is the, is the connection available to the public now, or is that just internal? Uh, the Clay Connection is, is our is our communication between our stakeholders, our employees. Right. Our employees, so sorry. The Community Connection is going to go to the entire community. Uh -huh. okay. And this month is talking about bullying prevention. Good luck. Good uh, and next month is Orange family engagement. Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. Unity Day is tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Mr. Daggett, I ask if he could be recognized to make a few comments. Yes. And let me say this. Uh, we, we all received your letter, and uh, I understand. And thank you for the almost two years that you've been with us. So, it, it, so. it has been an, a great opportunity, and I, I've enjoyed it. Uh, and I've enjoyed the uphill swing that this district has been on. And I, I'll do everything I can uh, uh, to make sure that it continues on, on this trajectory. So as I've shared with uh, all board members and the superintendent uh, privately, I've accepted a position with DOE in, in Tallahassee. Um, and it's just another uh, great opportunity uh, to serve uh, public schools. Um, with litigation being in my wheelhouse, uh, I'll take on uh, major responsibilities uh, for the state. Um, as a deputy general counsel for DOE. So there is a transition period, uh, which I'm happy uh, to have in, in my contract, and it provides for an eight week period. So this will be uh, really uh, to round out uh, the year in December. And I will provide uh, every support um, and recommendation that you all ask of me in the transition. I've shared with uh, everyone here uh, the trend of uh, school districts of this size. You, you have grown dramatically um, to outsource um, board attorney work and to staff up a, a legal division uh, with a staff attorney chief of legal services, whatever you want to call them, if, if you look at uh, surrounding districts and districts of this size. And I think, you know, that, if, if you ask me, um, might be the wisest, um, most financially sound uh, way to go. But that is totally up to the board and to the superintendent. So I wanted to announce it now, as, as soon as I could, uh, publicly, and uh, to encourage the board to perhaps get together, workshop it, uh, allow me to, to work with the superintendent and to uh, provide to him any recommendations he asks of me. Um, and I will probably polish up, I gave the, all of you a legal services overview report, I believe it, mm -hmm. in the middle of summer sometime. Mm -hmm. And that gave you a look back over as far as I could go back uh, for your legal services and expenses over at least a seven year period. And hopefully you'll have enough data in front of you to uh, make a, a well-informed decision and one that obviously will be sensitive to the decision makers uh, which constitute the board uh, uh, toward the end of November. I think a lot of that legwork can be done and, and discussions uh, might be had before then. Um, I'm hoping, because I, I do want you all to be in uh, a good place um, when I transition. And I'll tell you, here, here's the good part. You're going to have a friend at, at DOE <laughs> <laughs> and, and who understands uh, what goes on at, at, a, at a district level uh, from the school board attorney's perspective. And I really do think, being a, a member of the School Board Attorney's Association, uh, and I, continue, I, I will continue my membership <coughs> with that association, it's a vital connection. Uh, we're all part of one team here. Um, so uh, again, it's been a pleasure. I told all of you this. I've loved the challenges uh, uh, just as much as as, as I've lo I loved, um, you know, 
the harmony where, we, where we've uh, achieved it. And I love that we have achieved uh, greater and greater harmony, at least since I've been here. So I wanted to just put that all on the record, Madam Chair, and I invite private and public discussion on that. Okay. This is, for your service. Yes, you sure. this, this is where I wanted to have some discussion with the board to see how we are going to proceed. I, I'm concerned that we've got, uh, you said the end of December right at Christmas. Yes. We, and with Thanksgiving and Christmas mm. and, and all that's <coughs> going on, I'm concerned that I want to make sure that we have legal representation. Uh, are you to start in Tallahassee in January? First yes. January? Okay. I can't. You know, I'll, of course, I'll make myself available to you for any recommendation. Yeah. I You're moving your family services. to Tallahassee? Now we're, we're going to tolerate it for as long as we can. Uh, uh, I would just and, come home on weekend. Yeah. Because I thought. Your little girl in ballet, oh, she's not going to like it's that. Too tough. <laughs> it's too tough. But Tallahassee would be a lovely town to, yeah, to yeah. be in. Um, but I want to get some feel from the board because, I, you know, we've got to make sure we have legal representation. So, do you want, um, is, should I put this on the agenda for discussion at the board meeting um, next week? Or do you want to set a workshop for us to all <coughs> talk through how we want to go about this? Or uh, what suggestions do y'all have as to how we proceed? <coughs> I think this is something the board needs to kind of discuss. But we're having changes to our board. So don't you think this is something that the new board should have input on and not the outgoing board well, members? Well, I thought about that. And I don't and I mean that disrespectful, <coughs> no. but... No, but I've thought about that, and and um, I thought, well, you know, Miss Bullock was on the board for two years. Who was the attorney then? Were you the attorney? I was no. not. I don't. No. I, see, I don't remember. Bruce Bigner was the attorney, and then when okay. the board changed, they right. brought Mr. Excuse me. Sykes in. I have two two ways of. I've tried to think of this from every angle of when you know when he uh, told me what he was doing. Would it be better for us to try to uh, have a workshop with the board as it is now? We've all worked with Mr. Daffodil for two years and know him. Or do y'all, my fear is if we wait till the new board member is in, uh, that would be the 20th of November. Mm -hmm. That only gives us one board meeting before he leaves. So then as I'm driving down the road this morning, I thought, well, you know, maybe we need to have, we can't get into an in-depth conversation this morning about it. Maybe we, I don't know what y'all want to do. Yeah, please everybody kind of pitch in on this. It wasn't so long ago that we did the same process. Do you remember how long it took once we posted the job to get applicants? So well, see, that's the thing. I think we could go ahead and post it, and we could wait to do interviews and narrow down the field until we have the... I, I don't think anything's changed over the last two years. So, do you think there's that many more attorneys out there looking for jobs? I mean, we had a hard enough time so you want to finding the four that, that we got to interview. Well, we should probably reach out to them first. Mr. And, Poole, what and I don't think we, I don't think do we can do that. We need to open. I, if I may make a suggestion, I'm, this is why I'm is, bringing this up. We, I want it took us to forever to find a workshop coming up for our policy review, mm -hmm. and that's October 30th. That's next week. Is there a chance, number one, that since we can't <coughs> technically discuss it here, but we do need to discuss it, is there a chance that we could add it to the policy review workshop on the 30th and make it part of our discussion at that point so that we can determine what our plan is moving forward? Um, secondly, I agree with Ms. Condon. I believe we would need to make this a... I mean, we can't just say, okay, all the people who applied before, we're going to look at you again. We have no idea if they're... Well, Mr. Poole went to Nassau County. Exactly. I, I mean, that's, that's, that's two years old. That's uh, two years old. And there's, there's a lot that's happened in two years. Yeah, Correct. I mean, that's just... Um, this, this doesn't the, really fall under that, though. This is the one employee that the school board hires themselves. And we've seen it in the past where 
you know, Mr. Van Zandt and three board members brought in Mr. Sykes with no discussion whatsoever. So I don't think it's unreasonable to reach out to the, the remaining applicants that we interviewed last time and see would they be interested. There's one or two I'm not right. interested in talking so, to. I would like to go that route and have to go through six months worth of interviews and not have an attorney. That one so, I don't want to talk. Let, let me just offer this and, and make that observation. I, I talk with Ray a lot um, That's up Mr. in NASA. Mm -hmm. So NASA went with the <coughs> And, and that's that is the it, staff attorney, the legal, the chief legal services, where where Ray actually took that took that job, and it's a basically staff is attorney. The staff, call it different. Is he the staff attorney? Yes, he or works is he operationally. The one hired by the board. No, he he, he works operationally. Mm -hmm. He's a direct report for the superintendent. They're half the size of our school, maybe even smaller. And they've always had outsourced uh, private uh, uh, firm or a private attorney. I'm forgetting his name right now. But the reason that I bring this up, and you know, I am very sensitive to the fact that you need to work, you need to act promptly. Um, regardless of what you do at the school board level for a school board attorney, it might make sense for me, if, if the superintendent is, is willing to do so, to really uh, talk brass tacks as to what would a staff attorney look like what would the job description look like? You know, what are the cost ranges, so on and so forth? And then the, uh, you'll have at least, whenever it is you want to talk about it, whether it's October 30, whether it's after November 1 meeting, whatever, at least you'll have heard from the superintendent on what it is he uh, and his team may want to look for for a staff attorney. You'll have that ball rolling, and it's always up to the board to, to say yay or nay mm -hmm. to that. And at the same time, yeah, do whatever you can to get it out there to, to uh, attract good candidates. So a, in that model, a staff attorney would be hired by the superintendent and not by the school board, is that right? That's correct. You, have, you know, I was joking around, talk about policy uh, uh, development in our workshops. When we first looked at section one, we were talking about the divisions. I, I jokingly said to Addison back then, well, I'd love to see a legal <coughs> services division here. So yes, it, it would be a direct well, report. Well, here, here's my problem with proceeding on in that vein. The board hasn't had an opportunity to even right. talk about Correct. it. Yeah. And you know, I, I don't know how I feel about that right now. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, need to know a little more information like in Nassau County, did the, superintendent, the superintendent hires <laughs> the staff attorney and the board hires some outside firm? That's right, yeah. mm -hmm. And how much more is that gonna cost us? Well, that's what I'm saying. We can See, I mean, there's things I don't know. Yeah, yeah so through the chair, I, what I can do is give, um, I'll try to, to get with Mr. Dagg, because I know he did some legwork in reference to, and, and Dr. Legeco and HR, about what money they spent outside of funding that we pay for Mr. Dagg, and I say you can review, so, but I'll just do that, because it sounds like you may, we just need to know that anyways. Right. It would be a good com a comparison as to where we're starting, where we want to go. I know, yeah. I looked at, um, when we were looking for legal services <coughs> before we hired Mr. Daggett, we looked at outsourcing and we had numbers then. No, we didn't. We didn't look at outsourcing well, our school board attorney ever. Don't you remember we had some no. applicants that were firms yeah, and not just no. a single attorney? Yeah, we did. We had yeah. out, we had applicants that were firms. Yeah, and but we, we were weren't looking at it. To, we weren't to considering that, right. that at all. We were considering. Well, you may not have read else. the resumes, but we did. <laughs> I mean, oh, I read every resume. I did. Yes, absolutely. Um, as a board chair, you could always put it on the discuss. agenda for, the, and then these questions could be raised and the discussion could be had at the board meeting and then you could proceed. On the first mm -hmm. goal. So how, how we want to word this, to okay. discuss, um, discuss, discuss process, process. Yeah. discuss the mm -hmm. process for um, employing legal services. Legal services. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that leaves us open whether, mm -hmm. Because you know, I want to know a little more, and you know, it, it's it's bad at this time. Because I thought, gosh, if we were in December and going to the conference in Tampa, yeah. we could ask a lot of questions of our fellow board members. But <coughs> we really don't have the luxury. Oh, you we, can make phone calls though. Yeah, yes. we we okay. can call. We just need some time to and plus to think about it. I'm scared that if we get into a staff attorney, I know you you have mentioned to me before 
someone that you yeah. really think highly of, but that they wouldn't come for less than a couple hundred thousand dollars. And see, these are things I'm wanting to weigh, you know, and they, you know, we, we can't, we, we're not there. I mean, I started off with a If that were the fact, I would, I would quiet. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, I started off with a, when I first got on the board, we had a part-time attorney, Frank Scrooby, who did not come down here. He had his office one day a week he would come down. But he had his office on Blanding, but if anybody needed yes. something, they just called Frank. And um, he was always as close as a telephone, but there was no you know, legal secretary, no attorney down here. He'd, you know, he'd come by and sit back, but he didn't need any law books. He just knew it all, you know. He was the pro. Right. But That's um, when you had half the amount of enrollment, half the amount of schools in the education code. We had about, about eight. I think we had about maybe 18, yeah. 19 mm -hmm. schools. You've, done, you've had a magnificent amount of growth, particularly in the early 2000s through 2010. I want to do some phone I, I personally would like to make some phone calls and just do some inquiring and try to get as y'all like to say, get my head around this, uh, because I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I'm a little leery of, you know, the one person we hire is the school board attorney. And then this would be, the, the superintendent would be hiring a staff attorney. And if it's like St. John's or Nassau, from what I understand from Mr. Daggett, they just employ a firm and there's... For board, yeah. There's a person in there that a board member could call if they had a question. So I just want to, I, yeah. I hadn't had time to I really. Think it's a lot different than what we've had in the past. And it feels a little less personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it, I but I, yeah. And so I'm struggling with how do I really feel about it. And then I struggled about, well, you know, do we do it right now because time is of the essence? Or do we wait for the new board member to come in? You know, I. It's up to the board. So, I mean, there's five of us. We've got to figure out what, how we want to do this. So, if Ms. Bush, if you will add an item on the agenda, discussion, what did we say? Discussion of- Legal uh, services. Legal, discussion future legal services. Process for employing legal services. Right, that's good. <laughs> Is there- uh, And then if it's a discussion item like that, are we able to make a motion and how does that work? We could say discussion and potential action. Potent or I'm not in agreement with taking action without the, the new board. In but place. if we see that we need to get the process going, that would, it's not saying we're necessarily going to take action, but it would give us an option. We could if we It should just to. be discussion yeah. and no action. Well, I. The board could also give directives, you know, direction to the superintendent, direction to me, whatever we could do, whatever I could do to, to help. You know, gather this data, look at this, bring it to you, whatever you'd I like. Think you have a majority consensus that we'd like to discuss it at the meeting. At least discuss it. Yeah, absolutely. Our discuss it. Discussion I and taking any action. What, what is, how do you want to say <clears throat> potentially take action? That doesn't sound right. Karen, help. Just discuss. Mm -hmm. if, but if it's on our agenda and we decide to take action, we're able to do that at a public meeting, correct? Regular meeting? Y yes, you are, but you know, the, the so it action. Need to be on there. Uh, I don't know that anyone here is talking about taking action insofar as hiring anyone. No. Hiring. Oh, no, no, no. 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 We're yeah. talking about action on deciding what yes. we're right. going to do. Right. Exactly. Yeah. What I think that that is fair. Yeah. Yes. So, so you, you don't need to put potential action on there. We can do that if we Everything need to. on an agenda is actionable. Is, yeah. We could say something like discuss and give direction, sure. like yes. Mr. Dagger yes. said, and that way it wouldn't be like an official vote, yeah. but we could at least kind of direct where we want to go. Or to get the ball rolling. I, I'm just thinking it's a month to Thanksgiving right. and right. two mm -hmm. months to Christmas, mm -hmm. and January the 1st, we won't have an attorney here. I mean, how long did and we we've got to do last something. time? Last um, time it took us six months. Couple months. Yeah. So I, I think sooner rather than later, for the in the nothing best else to post the position, right? And depending on what that position is, and I, the we need to determine if we're if we're going to give direction to him mm -hmm. to hire legal counsel, mm -hmm. 
And a lot of that is financial. I mean, based on the information that you've given us already. Can you have it would be yeah, can you give us that yeah, information? Yeah, so, so, yeah. so to the chair. Yeah. 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 To the chair. I'm asking him to resend the information Good. because I honestly don't know mm -hmm. which stack it's in. Yes. <laughs> I can put, to the chair, I can put in my, um, in my follow-up if you want me to in the next 48 hours. Oh, okay. As long mm -hmm. as we have the, the numbers, then mm -hmm. I feel like we can give solid direction and the meeting what we're having. And, we and that'll give us a chance to maybe talk to some other board members around the yeah. state mm -hmm. and I'll, um, that try, way try to figure can. out the best way for Clay County because mm -hmm. every county is different. And uh, I want to get the best legal service I can get for the least amount of money. <laughs> that means. You know, I vaguely recall that Andrew and Messina may, may have collected some data on this not okay, so I'll, long ago. I'll give her a call. Yeah, maybe you can Maybe we all need to talk to her mm -hmm. and school uh, board kind of get some direction advice. Because yeah. I really feel strongly that we need to have a direction at this next meeting in order so that we can post Well, we can't the proceed until we know what we're going to exactly. do. Mm -hmm. I mean, we may look at it and say, yeah, that staff attorney and get an outside firm is a good way to go. We may look at it and I may say, it sounds great, but maybe we can't afford it right <coughs> now. Maybe we need to look at it again in another <coughs> two or three, four years, whatever. I don't know. But anyway, we'll get it on the agenda that'll give us time to think about it and figure out what we're going to do. Okay, we've got, you had one discipline case distributed today. Uh, Mr. Crystal said there may be others. We'll try to have them ready by next week's workshop on the 30th. Okay. I want to make sure we're still getting this fairies. I've talked to you yes, about that. Mm -hmm. It seems like yeah. we're getting, you know, in the summer it was none, and then we had one or <coughs> two or whatever. And uh, I, I'm wondering, sometimes I think it's good for some of these to come before the board because we can really give them free. Uh, I think I think sometimes we make an impression on them. Uh, I just don't want us to. I mean, do y'all feel the same way? I, I want to see some of these kids because I think five minds working together uh, sometimes comes up with a good solution. Is there? Do we have a threshold that they need to come to the board? Well, that's Is what there I like just a standard Is policy? It a tier thing in our code of conduct mm -hmm. that if they reach a certain behavioral level, mm -hmm. um, they come to our There are rumblings within the district. Excuse me? There are rumblings within the district about how discipline is handled now versus yeah. how it used to be. That, that, that there's a lot more being sent back to the schools right. that wasn't in the past. Yeah. And rumor that we are covering up discipline issues. And, and I'm, again, yeah. that's rumor uh, through the school district and rumblings through the staff, and that's all I just know we to. used to have, you know, six, eight, mm -hmm. on a bad month, even more, yeah, and we've, we're hours. getting like one, yeah. maybe two now. Because here's the thing. I don't think all the kids started behaving. Well, my understanding is that expulsion no, no. and our expulsion record, it has huh? to come to the board, right? right? Uh, uh, so we're expelling the students. Yeah, so through the chair, absolutely. We're providing more services to students so we can try to break the cycle of behavior. Anything that's major that comes from an expulsion, that is the board's decision of whether or not they want to add expulsion to a student's behavior. At, at no point in time, I, I don't know, you know, I've not, I've not heard that. Someone said we're covered. We're addressing every every kid all the time, as outlined by the code of student conduct. There's nothing to hide. A kid, if there's an action, there's a consequence, and you know, and, the, and it's attached and it's clear in the code of conduct. So, there may be some, you know, there's a new process in part. But it's not the new process of whether you have here an office where Mr. Crystal does an investigative process. He hears, he has a hearing, he meets with the school, he meets with the parents, he meets with the kids, and makes an informed decision of you know whether or not expulsion needs to be transitioned to the board. So. Oh, I'll get an update and show you, uh, identify who's going to the hearing office, you know, when when do we trigger that to be pushed to the board. To my understanding, I've talked to Josh, and I've talked to my colleague, and nothing has changed in reference to identifying kids to push we, to the board. Well, there's some reason we're only getting one. Yeah, yeah. That, that, I mean, and honestly, that means that your te our teachers are doing a good job. My yeah. thought, well, my thought was, is, is are more of these kids, when they have their meeting, are those just being administratively placed in Bannerman, whereas that, you know, that was, I thought, well, 
there's still got to be kids being sent to Bannerman, but instead of coming to the board, are they just administratively placing them in Bannerman? I don't know, well, but concern, there's some reason we're only getting one a month or two. My concern would be, are zero tolerance policies, are they being upheld? Because if know. we say Absolutely. zero tolerance about violence and drugs, oh, yeah. And Absolutely. we're not seeing those expulsions come to the board. Yeah. Are we just not having those cases? Yeah. yeah. See, I zero tolerance is zero tolerance. I, mean, I think the reason that there's questions from the board mm -hmm. is we're used to trying to get done before the board meeting sometimes. Mm -hmm. And we've just, all of a sudden, it's gone from a bunch to mm -hmm. one, possibly two. The other side of that is that he's been keeping us informed. Right. As some of the threats to the schools and right. that sort of thing. And when we see those coming through, I mean, there there were sure. a rash of them for a while, yeah. there. and yeah. and we don't see the cases right. yeah. that would follow up to those sure. sorts of situations. Yeah, that's what I wonder. Where we are don't, these? We don't know, well, but, and we don't know what the ultimate outcome was of each of those. So when we hear about something, we're anticipating. Well, I'm that anticipating we're going to see that, that child, child before, before us. us. Right. And when we don't see that child before us, we're thinking, right. well, whatever happened to that situation? Right. That, and then that, that, that happened to a few in the spring that we felt that they should have come and, before us and, and didn't. And maybe they... I guess that's... And after, that, but that's that also... Yeah. We have to realize that they're also investigating. Right. True. And right. if they're investigating and finding that there was false accusations or comes it wasn't something that came from one of our statements to see them. Sure. They came from a counselor or came from an adult, then us. that doesn't yeah. come before us. So oh. <coughs> they're, yeah, they like if they, they come in and threaten the school. Yes. Mm -hmm. We expect to see them. Sure. Yes. And see the chair, I'll put them on follow up. You'll have that as well. Okay. But if that's right, can't process. Process. We're not trying to be hard to get along with. We just feel like we're being left out of the story. Yeah. 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 That's why I feel like that's what I mean. Okay. So, Ms. Stutter, we can blame you up next time. Next month, we're going to have 25. If we have 10 next month, y'all just hang me. So, this is, for me, this is progress. Break for lunch. Okay. I'm trying to. I need to set a separate meeting just for that. Okay. Next Tuesday, 8.30 to 11.30, we have the policy review, and that's going to be where? <coughs> here, here. Here? Okay. And then calendar committee at 1.45. Uh, Mr. Daggett, will you okay. resend the policy stuff in advance yeah, for us? Yes, yeah, thank he, you. He's going to send it. Well, in fact, Addison said he would. No, you're going to send that, and then Addison's going to send us his stuff. Yep. For the 30th? Yes. They're actually already attached to the agenda, and it's already been published. Oh, okay. So they're... <coughs> they're I'll send them for your, your convenience anyway. How, how many pages is it? I'd like to say not many. You know, it, it's, it's, it's 20 or 80? Yeah, 20. Um, it's about 20, 25. So we're printing it up we in home. Shall, I hope to get this, get through Section 1, okay, for sure. <laughs> for, during our October 30 workshop, I don't think that's possible. Yeah. Is there anything else? I had a question. Yeah. I was over in Panama City um, over the weekend, mm -hmm. and, um, and my understanding <coughs> is a lot of the seniors in that area that were affected are just flooding Florida Virtual, trying to get somewhere so they don't lose. Right. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know if there are spaces available in Clay Virtual yeah. that we might want to figure out a way to advertise or if you have yeah. contacts with their superintendents. Yeah. I know there's several counties affected sure. over there. Everybody's quiet. talking about Bay County, but I know mm -hmm. like Gulf County yeah. mm -hmm. is just Jackson, decimated, yeah, and you know Jackson and mm -hmm. some of the other. Yeah. I don't know all the little county names over there, but I know Washington. I, I did email Milton Brown, and, and, and he said his family was okay, but uh, he's in Washington County. But anyway, mm -hmm. at any rate, I didn't know if there's an opportunity there yeah. that we can provide mm -hmm. some service, and then um, good idea. You know, Do you have family in Panama City? No. Oh, okay. I worry about those kids, though. I mean, the school districts are closed, and I'm thinking, There's what do they do? Well, I'll tell you, my yard man was at my Talk house last Friday, and he had his little grandson with him. And I said, oh, are you, he, I knew he lived up north somewhere, but I didn't know where. I said, are you on fall break? And he said, no, ma'am, I live in North Carolina. My school is flooded. I haven't been in school for a month, and mm -hmm. I'm not expected to go back for another month. Wow. He's eight. Wow. And I thought, oh, at this age, when you lose that, yeah. They'll be going to school all summer. Yeah. So. Yeah. Some parts of North Carolina got mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
And I just know him here while he's I, here. <laughs> and I know, I think I saw where the union, or CCEA, was uh, collecting things for school supplies at each Yeah, school. we're partnering I, actually I, I with uh, Mr. With, uh, Davis. Mr. Davis and putting their on call out. Um, are the things in coming in? Yeah, we're, um, we're working, working up together. We had um, for Jackson County. So I had called Mr. Davis and asked him if he wanted to, to join us in mm -hmm. collecting things. And he said yes, and we're collecting, and people are putting together the backpacks and stuff, depending on what the age is. And we're going to figure out how we're going to get yeah, it there. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I've, um, a big, uh, Galloway at Jackson is going to coordinate with us and find out where, when, and how. But we're very excited. We're collecting a lot of, we have a lot Good. of stuff. Yeah. The Thank schools you. have really gotten we're into it. I just cannot yeah, even imagine. Right. Yeah, they have 15 schools and they're just decimated and it right. went right straight through Jackson, through Marianne, is that what it's called, yeah, Marianna? Marianna. Mm -hmm. um, and they're saying their sc the schools that were not damaged are being used as shelters. Correct. So it's not, right. you know, they can't do trade-offs. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And well, they're, they're paid, the, their school board has paid them until November 1st and they don't know where they're going from there. But they're they're right. literally scattered all over the state at the moment. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I mean, I, I haven't been out there, but I'm I'm going to go out there mm -hmm. today. You know, I can't imagine. We're just, you know, lucky. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, but to close on a lighter note, I want to say congratulations to everyone in the school district, CCEA Renale, especially for spearheading. First book. Yeah, oh, we was five. Yeah. We had uh, over. we had um, eighteen twenty one. Okay. Um, people attend and get the books, and I'm just so so thrilled with you know watching those little kids on oh, oh, they reading right. the books. Well, and, oh my you. god! And we have some left over. So <laughs> no, right, yeah, we got a few. Riddle these books and millions in our warehouse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Riddle these books and millions. We're going to distribute them. We're going to also put some of those books in the backpacks. Right, we're going right, to send to Jackson, Jackson so they oh, they have oh, some good, books. Good. Um, I don't know how we're going to sort that out, but we'll we're going to sort that out yeah. somewhere. It, it I'm going to walk it today. It was very heartwarming <laughs> to see. Yeah, I want to walk it too. Is there a book we have left over? Yeah. Some are going to our schools, and some are going to Jackson. Yeah. Thousands. Just made it. Did you keep them sorted? Thousands. Hey, we spent hours sorting those. Hours sorting those. Hours sorting those. Somebody put them all in the box. Hey, you have the sorting. Do we have the tarps? Uh, no, um, Green Coat. Okay, my tarps. I gotta get them back. Hey, so, so we had bought okay. 10 tarps also, and we're going to send them out to Jackson also. Yeah, the, 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 I hope if we do it again that maybe they'll sort You better bite your tarps. <laughs> but the, when they came yeah, in this time, the, you saw how big those boxes were from here yeah. to there, square, and they were mixed up. And so Friday, it was we were all running around saying, is this third grade or is this fifth I know. grade? I mean, I know. God, no, well, we had the better selection with it oh, being unsorted. So we better. had so much better oh, books really, this time really yeah. than the sorted packet yeah. pallets were. Yeah. But, you know, I'm already getting calls from the Scambi and all that, like, how did you get this twice? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. AFC likes me. Well, y'all did good. CCEA said so. No, Randy Weingarten is afraid of no All the administrators and staff and departments, I don't think anybody was working from everybody was over there. Thank you to your staff. You guys worked so hard. It was super. The district was so special. But the best part of all was seeing those kids and their parents on Saturday uh, over in a corner sitting and reading. Or, or, I mean, it just seeing those kids made it all worthwhile but uh, job well done and we'll say this on the board floor too for the, oh, if we if we are televised what is the progress on our um, I'll contest? find out I'll find out with Jeremy because I, I hope I hope people can week. see and hear us it would be nice. well I think that when we posted on our Facebook the chair on our on our social media there was a Comcast problem they all sudden got uh, you know the ball rolling trying to fix it <laughs> Good. So they didn't like the fact that we well, were honest, honest. And well, we were open and honest, but we had to. Well, we, so oh, absolutely. Hey, I'm tired of getting phone calls, you know, about, you know, can't, can't, you know, we see you, we can't hear you, we hear you, we can't see you. Okay. We don't, at least we're not Smurfs anymore. We were blue for a while. We were Smurfs. I missed that.
Oh, that was good. That was, a, no, that was, that was a, probably a year or two ago that we were first. Okay, is there anything else? Yes, I would like to request a workshop, and I, I'm throwing this out now so that we can discuss it at some point in the future, not until after November 20th. So hopefully sometime in December, maybe January, we got a report from Doc, Mr. Fassa regarding the growth in the county. We know that we're, we have the one mill. We know where the money's coming. Some of the money is going to be coming from. Um, we had a report from Mr. Davis at one of, the re, uh, one of the school board meetings regarding what his intentions are for the one mill. We, as a board, need to come up with plans. And we don't have a plan. We don't have a plan for growth. We don't have a plan for that we've discussed at all. And I'd like to get ahead of the game instead of waiting for somebody to come to us and say, well, you know, we told you about this 10 years ago. You're going to need to do this, this, and this. So what do you want to do? I would like to discuss, for instance, well, it's, I, for want of a better word, I, I guess a growth workshop, for want of a better word, um, to talk about the one mill and the money that's going to be coming in. You're talking about possibly plan. going out for one mill sales tax? No, 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 no. We already have the one mill. No, I'm talking about the sales tax. No, I'm not talking, talking about, about that at all. all. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the one mill <coughs> that we are getting in 2020. Okay. It's going to start, we're going to find out how much money we have in November of 2019. And I would like to make certain that we as a board have a plan as to how we would like to utilize that money prior to November of 2019. An idea. We already know that it's going for safety. It, we already know that it's going for hardening. There's another option in there for operations. And I don't know about anyone else on this board, but I've been thinking about if there are other opportunities, if there's additional money that wasn't covered perhaps by what Mr. Davis presented at the board meeting two months ago, I would like to have a plan as to where that money can be assigned as well. Um, I mean, something different than what correct. he had laid out. Correct. I mean, if there's but additional money. we push it to money, January after the holidays. And that would work. January, February. That, that's why I said December, January, but soon. I, not December. The, other, we don't need the other side of that is understanding what the growth is going to mean to us. And how do we have, I mean, we talk about the need for additional schools. We understand that. I guess my frustration is that we've always known about the growth, but I don't know that we've necessarily planned for specifics as it comes up. And it's financially sound. I mean, that's something we should be doing as a board to be fiscally responsible. Well, and some Just of that thought. growth has been pushed forward. We thought with those two DRIs, is it the DRIs that were supposed to <coughs> off until the new road was finished, and now they've got authorization yeah, to go ahead. Seven, so that's seven coming school. at us a lot faster it, that's than why it was the plan. To. <clears throat> that's why the plan. Mm -hmm. The other side of that is this one mill that we just got approved right. is for four years. Mm -hmm. right. If we fiscally are responsible as to how we utilize that money in four years, when we, when, I'm just going to say it, if, when, we go out to the public and say that one mill covered this. We need it to continue to help us in this way. If we are fiscally responsible with that one mill, hopefully the population will vote to continue it for an additional four years. Instead and to of your waiting. point on that, if, if you've designated exactly what that money is going to fund, then <clears throat> if it goes away in four years, you know what you have to cover. You Correct. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. For it either way. It, then that's, I know that you've already begun that plan. And that was a great presentation to say, this is where we can go with safety, and this is where we want to establish that savings or that pay it forward sort of thing so that it doesn't cover just four years, but it covers five years. Well, I think that one is planned. Correct, but as I said, that's an estimate of what we're getting. If there's additional funding there, we, I'm saying we as a board, I think it would behoove us to say, if there's additional funding that we garner from this one mill, we want to establish this, or we want to have it go towards that, and make it something that, I'm, I, I don't want to share ideas, but I think each of us has ideas. 
I mean, I'm sure each of us have thought, well, wouldn't it be nice to be able to do this? We've not discussed it. And I think we need to discuss it. And you want to have a workshop to do that? Yes. Or do you want to just discuss it at a board meeting? No, I want to discuss it in a workshop so that we do come up with a plan per se. And in addition to that, I've been asking for a, a workshop to look at his salary. And we can look at that at the same time. Wait until January. I, you know, whatever. I, I, I plan to put something on the January agenda dealing with that. I want to get through Thanksgiving and Christmas. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to say anything, but that's my idea. Is I told Mr. Davis, he said he would wait until. I think it's a good idea, Mary. And I think, I think at that time, agenda, maybe like Mr. Davis could do another presentation mm -hmm. of, you know, what you guys did last month to remind everyone, you know. In a I workshop, workshop situation, I think we can come out, we can sit around the table and hash out different mm -hmm. ideas. Mm -hmm. At a board meeting, I feel that the, the final outcome of those ideas is a better discussion. I guess a workshop would sort of weed out, for want of a better word, some of the ideas that are like, eh, maybe that's not the best plan, you know, the best utilization of this funding. Um, but similarly with the, the, the growth and the building, well, I, I mean, we... I thought with the outline, that Mr. Davis gave, I was pretty comfortable. Well, oh, I'm very uh, comfortable with it, but in there, that's uh, where I'm coming from. If we get more in there. I mean, it's for discussion down the road, but I don't want to get something so detailed mm -hmm. because from day to day, month to month, year to year, things right. change Absolutely. and a need may come up. And right. I don't want to say this, this money is earmarked for this and you can't spend it for something else. Uh, you know, if there's any extra money going around, I want to say about doing something about insurance. I'll tell you. Well, right there, that's what I was uh, not going to say. I wasn't going to come so up with my own. So we're all thinking, thinking about it. I'll say through the chair. And I, but so see, I think Mr. Davis knows that. Out. Yeah, through the chair, my recommendation was just solely to get the ball rolling for you to, for the board to start thinking about what we actually could need with using that funding. And if there's additional funding that's available, that may come to us, and it's the board's will of what we could, um, what you would like to do with that funding. So, so do you you feel there's is the need for a, a workshop to, to just go through? To the chair, this? I believe it'd be really good to have a, okay. a workshop to have healthy discussion, so you can put we can hammer stuff on that board. We can okay. selectively abandon and identify what our actual needs well, why are. Why don't we? Have it in January. That's sometime. fine. That's fine. I'm just asking. I think with Thanksgiving and Christmas, that we set something then. Yes. Yeah. January. We can set something up then. That's fine. Well, that'll be whoever's chair. Take care of it. Is there anything else? Any any staff members want to pitch in? Come on. Okay. All right. Well, then the meeting is adjourned.